Yeah. You might be the coolest fucking craziest. Yeah, she had a shirt that said, I don't take it in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, we love you. What love a you. fucking appearance. Congratulations. One of the best first timers we've ever had on this show. Make some fucking noise for Karen, everybody. Karen Jones, everybody. There she goes. All right, ladies and Directly gentlemen. to jail. Karen's going to jail. I'm sure you're aware of this, but that lady got arrested who was on your show saying that she stormed the Capitol. Yeah. Yeah, that, they're going hard after people that went into the Capitol. Red Band mentioned that it may have been because of our show. It is because of your show. Really? Yes. Hold on, so let me get this straight. The government just issued an arrest warrant for your, act, for your involvement in January 6th. You thought this was the best place to come to stay out of the limelight? I saw a lady wearing a t-shirt that says, Pussy is the new dick. But I'm pretty sure Karen is the new dick. The, the shit that they've been putting you guys through is absolutely fucking absurd. Pardon my French. Yeah, it's, it's fucking fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I've, uh, I've been really disheartened. You know, I, I come from a family of law enforcement. And, uh, you know, you're... A, fought overseas in every single country that weaponizes their military and their law enforcement against their own people. And as Americans, I was so proud that we were different. And of late, I have never been more disappointed and disheartened to see our own Department of Justice be weaponized against its own citizens. And so now I have to be arrested and they're gonna have to teach me a lesson. Yeah, that's probably coming for sure. And um, it's so wholly un-American. And, you know, you could say anything that boils my blood that I disagree with, with the, every ounce of my being. And that's the part of being American, right? Like, cool, you're on a different political spectrum than I am. That's okay. You know, like you have to completely total different beliefs in religion. That's okay. But now we're using the Department of Justice to target people that are contrarians on the political spectrum. It's just absolutely un-American. But I clicked on a tape and I came into view and the police were shoving me in the rotunda and a young man like came to my defense. But I recognized the scene and I had forgotten it had happened because I had just been hit in the stomach with a billy club. The stuff you're talking about, law enforcement. My husband and I stand in front of the vet hall in Solvang, we're back to blue and we take a lot of heat for supporting Blue Lives Matter. And a lady was yelling at a cop and I knew she wasn't one of us. So there's something not right about her. I went up and told the lady, we're not here to protest the police. And the policeman hit me, really, just a boom in the stomach with his billy club. They were gassing us. No, they were really nice coming in, but then they flooded it and started hitting and gassing us. But we were never violent. We got out as quickly as we could once the trouble started. We were a couple of old people, and Trump said, come support me on January 6th. And we got on the plane and took his speech. We are SVP. Yeah. I, I believe in justice and like obviously justice is not being found here. This is the opposite of justice. And I, I think the pendulum swings and uh, the pendulum is going to be swinging back towards freedom, back towards the constitution, back towards justice. And the repercussions for people that were on the wrong side of history I, are, are going to be bad. So like just keep doing what you know is right. You know, and, and this is, injustice is so unholy American. Freedom is too cool to extinguish, and that's part of why I stayed out here. I've never done comedy, and I, I stood in that line to go and kill Tony, and I finally got up and got to tell a little of my story there, and the truth will come out. That's right. So, uh, and I love that people like you, I love what Joe Rogan is doing, but I love hearing you, Evan, all these different people who aren't speaking to people that are already on political team. You're just speaking common sense and open-minded. And it, it is uh, very heartening to those of us that could get dis discouraged otherwise. You're a, you're a beautiful soul.